So today I'm putting the stock bumpers back on until I can figure out what type of aftermarket ones I want to run in the front and back. The back, you know, to have a spare tire carrier and the front here to have a winch mount and a, more of a stubby bumper. So I'm going to stick with the uh, stock ones for now. My biggest concern was having some sort of recovery hook or tow hooks on the front and back. So for the front on Amazon, I picked up these tow hooks and they're about 15 bucks a piece. They come with hardware, but I already went ahead and replaced it with some grade eight bolts from Ace Hardware. Always get you some grade eight. And I opened up the other one. And it comes like this with a clip to be able to hold the uh, strap or whatever you're towing out with in place from slipping off the hook. But a lot of reviews said that these rust instantly and I can definitely agree because just touching them, you get some black stain on your fingers. And the threads on these are one half by 13. So it's a coarse thread. And I think I went with two inch on top and one and a quarter on the bottom. The shorter ones on bottom because when you come up in through here, you're gonna hit this piece of the frame and you don't need a bolt going too far up. So on first glance, you can see why I wanna go with more of a stubby bumper that doesn't come out as far with these new fenders and that offset. Um, honestly, what I'm gonna do, I plan on just cutting these ends off here. I'll just grind and cut these off a little bit more flush with the frame rail. And one thing I already noticed here with these hooks are these little rubber bumperette front pads are getting in the way here for this to line up flush. So I'm gonna take the bumper back off the frame here and take these off. All right, so I didn't record it, but self-explanatory, those two bolts on top, one on bottom. I ended up having to go back to Ace Hardware because these top two bolts were too short. I didn't account for the depth of the hook itself. So these are two and three quarter inch length, not two inches. So I got the front hooks on here. Nice little clip, keep your strap or chain in place. Nice and sturdy. I like them. Look real good once I chop these ends off the bumper. And now with the back bumper, like I was saying, I do need to go to something that can carry the spare tire without putting it on the actual tailgate with the stock set up. So until I can save up or figure out which one I want to go with, I'm going to stick with the stock one. But at the same time, I still want to have some sort of recovery hook or tow hook. And actually, while I was watching a YouTube video of another guy putting on an aftermarket bumper, it starts out with him taking off this hook. And long story short, I commented, we emailed back and forth and I bought it off of him. Apparently this came stock on some of the Rubicons or maybe all the Rubicons um, for the TJs. So this mounts over here on the driver rear. Like that. And it lines up with one of these holes, which is where the rear bumper also mounts. So taking a closer look here, what I'm talking about, this bolt right here lines up like that. Now that's not very typical for a recovery hook. You should have two fasteners like it has. So what I'll have to do is drill a second hole for that second spot since there's no actual hole that lines up with that. So I don't know, maybe this did come on the Rubicons and maybe their frame has an extra hole already pre-drilled with the threads. 
but this will get the job done for now. I'm in a pinch. So the only issue with my stock bumper is it's actually bent out of place about five, or heck now it's been, I guess, eight years ago. I'm trying to pull a buddy out with his Tacoma in the snow. Shout out T. Smizzy. He had some slicks at the time and no tread whatsoever. And just being kids, you know, we, uh, Ranger. <laughs> so I tried to pull him out and, uh, just tied a strap around the bumper and didn't do any good. Ended up having to get a uh, Bobcat the next morning to pull them out, but it ended up warping my bumper and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you got your two nuts on each side and then you're supposed to have a bolt on the bottom. Well, that's flush. And it's supposed to be like that. So it's bowed upward. So I need to somehow bend all this back in place so that I can actually align the bottom hole again. So here's a good angle to understand. Right here, it starts to go upwards, and this is where it's bent. And this should all be flat to here. And we got a little slight arch here. So I'm gonna try to pound this back down, which will pound all this back down on both sides. Right there. Needs to come back down. So we're pretty straight, it's still not perfect, but I'm hoping if I can maybe start the bottom first here, I know it's still a little off, but if I can get up in that hole and get that started and then go ahead and start threading those, maybe it'll form, conform to that 90 degree angle I'm looking for. I definitely want some bigger washers to go with the locking washers. Um, over that bumper hole since it's bigger than that head so probably the best three dollars i ever spent was at a yard sale bunch of mixed match nut and bolts washers screws you name it so sure enough i've got two here that'll work just perfect Boom.
There we go. So once I got the bottoms started on both sides, once I started to tighten the tops, it pulled it in flush with the back of the frame. So our bumper is nice and flat. Passenger side, same thing, nice and flush. There's our bolt. There we go. Back in business.